Welcome back. Thanks again for joining us. South Africa's youth structures from different political organizations and all walks of life, really, have been invited to join a call against no xenophobia under the banner Africa Unites. That's in order to mobilize awareness. Well, to tell us a bit more about this initiative, we are joined in the studio by ANC Youth League Gauteng Provincial Secretary Bones Mudise. A very good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning and thank you for having us here. Tell us a little bit about Africa Unite's collective approach. What is it? Africa Unite is a solitary march that will be taking place on Friday. It's a march that seeks to send a message across the globe that it's not true that all South Africans are xenophobic or suffer from Afrophobia. And it says, as South Africans, there are those of us who still believe that Africa belongs to all Africans, including South Africa, and we ought to come together and show the world that it's not true that we suffer from Afrophobia. You've invited uh, members of um, uh, various political parties, young people across the length and breadth of, of South Africa to join you in this march. Why have you decided to go beyond the ANC Youth League uh, to, to seek this allegiance from others? Because it's not a, a march to score cheap political points. This is a march that seeks to show the country and restore the image of our country. Uh, you, you know what has been happening in, in the country, especially in Devon and certain parts of Gauteng. And we felt that to, uh, the debate about which political party is supposed to be leading this is not going to help us now. We need everyone on board. We need to showcase that indeed South Africa, uh, we understand where we come from and we know where we come from. And indeed we are a country that seeks to achieve a, a rainbow nation that Mandela wished to have. We know that the ANC as well as the ANC Youth League have friends across the continent. Have you been in touch with uh, any of the organizations uh, uh, with whom you are affiliated or with him, whom you are linked uh, just to speak to them about what has been happening in South Africa? Yes, we have been in touch with organizations from Zimbabwe, Botswana, uh, Zambia, Tanzania and, and other African countries. And uh, we're expecting a delegation as, as early as tomorrow. Uh, I know that comrades from Zambia and Zimbabwe will be coming in tomorrow. Those from Tanzania and Kenya and Botswana will be here on Thursday. So it's going to be a big match. What has been uh, quite notable is the involvement of young people as well in, in looting and perhaps some of the attacks. When you see images of them running away from the stores, you do see uh, quite a, a number of young people. Uh, how do you plan on dealing with this as the Youth League, not only damage control, but preventative measures for next time? You know, what is hurting is that most of South Africans, especially these young people, they don't even know that May it's an Africa month and the 25th of May is an Africa day. And these are some of the things that we want to engage with them on. But after this March, we are going to have lectures and community engagement through community radio stations because we believe that's where you find majority of our people. So that we are able to educate them on, on the importance of what is Africa all about and what people from Somalia and Ethiopia, people from Ghana and Kenya would have done for South Africa to, for South Africa to be where it is today. All right. Uh, lastly, uh, just speak to us about the logistics. I know tonight you're having a meeting with a number of celebrities and various influential uh, figures to try and get them as well uh, to be part of this march. Talk to us about when it takes place. You said Friday, what time and where people will be meeting. Yes, you are correct that we have a meeting tonight at Houghton Legislature that will start at 6 o'clock. Most of our celebrities will be there. And then the march will be on Friday, starting at 10 o'clock. We'll be, we'll be marching from Mandela Bridge all the way to Yeovil. It's a big march. We're expecting at least a minimum of 10,000 people, according to the response that we have been receiving. And our keynote speaker is the Minister of Home Affairs, uh, Minister Gigawa, and the chairperson of Gauteng, Comrade Paul Mashatili and Matumi will be speaking as well. All right, we'll have to leave it there. Thank you so much for your time. ANC Gauteng Provincial Secretary Bones Mudisi. Let's leave it there, at least for now. I'm not quite sure if we're going to head back.